Hey, love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. If this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family, just thank you so much for the love and support that you're giving me as well as yourself being able to embrace the unknown. Even though we might not know where our road is leading us, we're still taking that chance and taking a leap out on faith to see where it goes. And with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. Many blessings are definitely coming your way way and if you have been watching my videos for a while I have not already please like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload her next video also if you're comfortable enough please I would love for you to uh, love to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if it's about the feedback of the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up telling me about your empathic gift and how it impacts your life and heading you towards a positive direction also if you are, um, if you get good vibes or good information you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend, please go ahead and do so. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and even share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. Once again, thank you so much for the love and support. It's so greatly appreciated. I love y'all from the bottom of my heart. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And today, let me turn this up a little bit so you can hear it. Um... I'm doing uh, my meditation music is uh, spiritual enlightenment 837 Hertz quantum awakening ultra shimmy drum meditation music and I will post that link in the description box below and today my video is about twin flame 101 hey Oka stepping into a new state of perception yes we need to and we are you know so we've been getting activated left and right and it has just been crazy. You know, you've been going through all these major shifts. You, you're already dealing with whatever you're dealing with, you know, along with yourself. And it's just like, you know, if you were not, you, if you did not know what you were, it can be an initial shock. Especially if you're going through some really, you know, some downright crazy things. You know, our life, our spiritual awakenings, you know, put us in a state of shock where everything is like new. <laughs> everything I promise you everything feels like new like wait a minute how come I'm just now getting to know this and why does it have to happen this way everything is happening for a bigger reason it's just like down this journey it might be confusing and you know just be have bamboozled basically you know and you're just on your journey and you're just trying to find yourself being able to get ready to know, know the new you you know getting into your best version of yourself but with the situations that we constantly go through, let me pause for the call, y'all. I'm sorry. My bad, y'all. My my alarm went off from my pot. I'm gonna go check on my pot. But anyway, had a pot on the stove. But you know, we can go through some crazy, crazy things, and it, it's just like bringing awareness to our lives, being able to see things from a <laughs> broader view. You know, and it's just the, those lights starting to flicker again. Um, but when we go through these situations that we have occur in our life, it's like it will make you go crazy. You, you, it seem like you have more answers, I mean, more questions than you do answers. But that was the whole point on you going through these situations. Being able to step into a new state of perception, be able to understand, use discernment on why we're going through the things we're going through why does it have to be so hard well, obviously it must be on a good subject because these lights <laughs> from my fingers are starting to pop off but anyways going through that it is like it's amazing and it can be scary at times it can be hurtful it i mean it'll just take you through a whirlwind of emotions and it's like i had to go through that this weekend um being able to look at everything like why do I have to go through something so tragic and so hard and you know I'm trying to understand the reason why I had to go through this and it was just like you know even though you're going through a lot of pain you're helping a lot of people along the way of your self-healing as well as you're helping others heal as well so it's like you know I had to understand that really understand that you know at first I thought I had it figured out but it was like I guess going through my dad's anniversary of his passing it, it really got to me and it's like I'm you know, I'll say somewhere down the line, I will get the bigger picture of it. But it's just what they're telling me is that I need to know now is that look at how many people you are helping. 
in your your traumatic situation, how you're able to heal on certain things, how you're bringing awareness towards certain people. You're, you're trying to see the bigger picture of everything that you're going through. And it's like, it's, it's really crazy. You know, I get to know myself in a whole different light, you know, being able to embrace my gifts, um, being able to know what they're truly here for, you know, knowing I have a purpose in life and you're doing the same thing. And it's crazy how we have to go through really traumatic situations, whether it's like losing a loved one, getting a divorce, losing a job, going homeless, um, having crazy job situations where, you know, just just crazy things is just happening to you and you're just trying to figure out why you know um and it can be really heartbreaking at times when you have to go through something so tragic and it's like i you know i didn't know everything that i was going through but it's like i get the understanding where you know what your videos your this is my outlet you know being able to you know say okay these are the visions i have you know i wasn't able to embrace my gift you know, growing up, you know, um, only time I can be able to embrace it was around my mom, because my mom was like, uh, she was gifted as well, and it was just like, she allowed me to do that, but it was like, I had to put a halt on it, so having to go through certain things, and, you know, knowing there was something different about me, but being able to step back and look at the really the real true picture is like since I was little I always wanted to be able to contribute to the world and making the world happy, making the world feel loved, you know, um, because the fact is I didn't really you know, I felt it as a child, like a really, you know, very young age, but it you know, my, my happiness was cut short when it came to my family. So being able to embrace that, you know, and not be shunned away, uh, because of my gift. You know, I, I, when people come towards my way, I never use judgment with them. You know, I try to be as understanding as I possibly can. And let them know, you know, no matter what, what you are or what you're trying to embrace, you, you shouldn't have judgment on that. There, you're, you are the way you are for a reason. Um, it's not demonic, you know, because a lot of people feel like when you're able to see the future or you're able to see your past lives, it's very demonic. You know, some people that are Christians and um, they're em empathic, you know, it makes them like stuck in a fork of the road. Like, should I embrace my, my em empathy or will it be something if I embrace it, will that mean? be me you know was messing around with the devil's work and it's like no it's not you know if you're doing everything for good intentions for good reasons god was empathic <laughs> you know he was able to tell things that was going to happen he knew what he had to go through to sacrifice for you know for us and it's just like all these different things that we go through we have to be able to embrace you know the now you know being able to know you have to have that leap of faith that you know everything will be okay even though there's times that things come at you the long way it you know like left and right left and right left and right when you're going through positive changes even though that could be scary at times you're you're just starting to know yourself from a whole new different atmosphere you know a whole new different look and being able to step into that new perception um It'll make you look at things in a totally different way, you know, like, why did I have to go through this? Or, you know, if if you look at it like, okay, since I went through this, what all has happened, you know, in a positive way? You know, yeah, you might have been through some really traumatic stuff, but that is the point for you to be able to heal and be able to come forth with your gift, being able to embrace it, you know, welcome it. You know, because there's a lot of people that can't do that, you know, because um, there's some people that tell me, Rosalind, I'm a Christian, but, you know, I want to be able to step forth in my empathy. You should have. You shouldn't have to hold back on that just because what other people think. If you know that you're doing something for the greater good, you know, if th that was a gift that was blessed, blessed upon you, you know, put in you for a reason. And it's just so much crazy stuff is going on around the world. They're activating us left and right because there's so many crazy things going off in the world and we have to be able to embrace that and be able to help others along the way. So it's just like when you're going towards your, your journey, you know, really look at yourself for what you truly are. Be able to embrace that and love it. 
you know, you, you should always love every aspect of yourself, whether it's the dark side or the light side. You know, you, there's bad things that happen to you in your life. And that what is what brought you here today, you know, being able to do that. And it's just like when I look at the situations I'm in, I hurt because of the situation that I've been placed in. But then I can look at it like, you know what, you, you got to know yourself. You're, you're embracing all the gifts that you have. You might not understand everything, but you're going to, you know, take that chance and, you know, learn up on it, educate yourself, you know, be able to see what things are really about, you know, trying to understand that. And it's a beautiful feeling at times, but it can be hard as I don't know what as well. And being able to deal with that, it is became a challenge, but it's that challenge that I'm willing to take. It's worth that. You know, when I can sit up here and see how many of y'all told me, you know, it allows, you know, my videos allow you to really look at yourself in a different way. Being able to embrace all the things that you are. You should love every part of yourself. No matter what people try to put in your head that what you do is demonic or what are you doing is, you know, is for bad. You should never feel that way about yourself. You know, you should never even let, allow that to even get in your head, you know. Um, you're going through the things you had to go through for a reason just for you to become aware of what you truly are and it just you know if you have that curious mind especially if you're a hayoka you're going to want to go <laughs> above and beyond like we do we take the long road on finding ourselves in every different direction every different level and you're supposed to love it you know even though it's scary at times that's okay it's like you have to think of it your life is like a roller coaster that you don't know when the, the you know is going to take you upside down it's going to take you on a curve you know wish you around all like you gotta you, you gotta think about those roller coasters that you get on at the amusement park and being able to deal with that and be able to brace yourself on all different levels is a beautiful thing you know being able to see things in a different light and not see that your gift is a curse you know it could be that at times but if you don't know what you're really doing into your gift it can be like a curse but you have to be able to embrace the things that you're embracing about your your gift your uniqueness and that one can't really scared to mess out <laughs> embrace your uniqueness oh lord the light's starting to act up again but being able to embrace all those beautiful things about yourself, educate yourself, allow yourself to know, even though this the situation I might go through is tra uh, tragic, but the person that started this this uh, this journey is not going to be the same one who ends this journey. You're going to be totally different when you go through this situation. Because I look at my things, and even though I, I get sad at times because of the sacrifices I had to go through just to get here, I know that there's a bigger picture out there it's just not my time to know about what that is yet but look at all the blessings that you're giving people upon their lives and allowing them to see what they truly need to see and embrace what they need to embrace about themselves and not worried about what other people are thinking because they're on their journey and you're on yours and all you should be worried about is yours there's a lot of times God puts us in certain places that people don't understand why you're there that's none of their business what they think of you is none of your business. As long as you're doing what you need to do and heading towards that positive light about things in your life, love it, do it, breathe it, live it. That's all I can say. But I hope you are able to resonate with the content of this video. I hope you had a blessed, safe weekend um, on Easter. I'm going to go ahead and do a couple more videos. I'm going to give my post notification shout out to... Um, Energy Love Being, Sarah uh, Warshawn, and Top Trending. Top, top V Tending. Trending, my bad. <laughs> Many blessings to you. Much love and light. Like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Drop me a line. I would love to hear your input on this video. Uh, seeing how you feel on the new, new state of perception that you're, you're, you know, you're engaging in. And, you know, hit the notification bell share, give me a thumbs up, and I'll see you in my next video. Much love, peace, and be wild.